Hello, and welcome to Raider HQ After Dark. I'm your host, Raider. And in this follow-up video, with my dog deeply sighing next to me, she felt the need that I should actually talk to you guys about something. And it is about the at least as likely as not 51% degree of certainty that I use. And the reason why my dog felt the need for me to make this video is because she was a little disappointed in me because she thought, well, wait a minute. It is technically true that the 50% rule does exist for the at least as likely as not. So why is it that you, specifically, Raider, why is it that you keep saying to do a 51% degree of certainty? I'm glad you asked that. So the reason why I say that you should do a 51% degree of certainty is because of the complacency of somebody that is wishy-washy on the fence. Now, if you have a private medical examiner who is wishy-washy and on the fence, they're going to put out a wishy-washy rationale. And that means that your rationale could be rejected because it's not sufficient to prove or disprove a matter at issue. And that is the dilemma with somebody that's, meh, it could be this or that. Because you could have a situation in which the examiner accidentally says something that puts your particular 50-50 rule in jeopardy. Like, oh yeah, I think that their you know, sleep apnea could be caused by jet fuel, but it could be caused by, you know, OSA or, or not OSA. It could be caused by some kind of genetic disorder or something like that, some kind of respiratory genetic disorder. And they might say something that detracts from the overall medical opinion, that in and of itself, the medical opinion might seem like it's an equipose, but because they said something that actually moved the claim to where there's more doubt than there isn't in the eyes of the rating beholder, that is the reason why I use a 51% degree of certainty. Because if you're 51 degrees or percent degrees certain, then you're going to actually be more certain when you write your rationale. And that's the degree of certainty that I want. Now, I know somebody's going to be out there saying, well, wait a minute, what about the tie goes to the veteran? Yeah, the tie goes to the veteran unless there's unless there's any kind of conflicting evidence because conflicting evidence has to be resolved. So if the examiner says something that you think is minute, but it could be major in the grand scheme of things when it comes to resolving whether or not the rationale is sufficient, that's why I say the 51% degrees of certainty. Okay, now technically I am not accurate in that but i want to be to qualify that if i the reason why i was trained that way is because the actual review of the evidence there is no equipose ever there is because even them saying it's at least likely as not they took a side right there's less likely which is no or there is at least likely that is yes the examiner took a side Okay, so this whole equipose thing doesn't exist. Okay, it's never, nothing's ever an equipose, except when you have one uh, denial that's no, you know, like a denial that's no and in a grant, like two medical opinions, one says no, one says yes. But even then, you have to weigh which one's more probative, which one is more sufficient, provides the most expensive explanation, the one that's medically more complete, there's never any equipose. So please, I know somebody's going to say like, but that, you have to do that, you know, and I'm going to be like, okay, but we don't, right? Evidence review. I've went through this on videos with you guys, right? Is that there's a certain criteria for evidence, but the manual keeps telling the rater that, you know, like, it's not like, oh, you know, like there's no element two, but he says there is one. The tie goes to the veteran. That's not the way it works. Okay. So the reason why, just to summarize again, the reason why I say 51 degrees of certainty, because that means somebody's taken a side. And when they've taken a side, then they're more likely to provide you with a more complete medical opinion that specifically doesn't just go, well, I tried. I mean, I threw words in there, you know. Because my last 
video about the the you know sufficient private medical you know strengthening your private medical opinion part two that second ai generated document was somebody doing 50 percent of the work right like that's the computer trying about 50 percent is hard they didn't provide anything about the the medical um you know the the veterans condition it's not probative it doesn't prove anything it for this veteran you could copy and paste that template and give it to 80 different people and it would be just as equally true for all 80 people, right? Because it doesn't speak to any of the 80 people. So this is why you want to have a 51 degrees of certainty because they chose, yes, it is versus no, it's not. So they've made a choice. And I, I, I definitely, I haven't seen any comments yet about it, but I know they're coming, right? Because somebody's going to cite case law at me or some kind of other thing that they're like, but it says here, and I'm going to go, yeah, well, have you been denied for it? Well, how could you be denied for it if it says there, right? You got denied because it wasn't persuasive. It didn't provide the accurate amount of information to meet the criteria, the st- you know, like the, the the rationale criteria at the minimum. Okay. Now, all those times that I said in that previous video and the video before it about how I want them to interweave that stuff in there. That's not a wishy-washy person. A wishy-washy person that is 50% certain that it could be due to, you know, it could be due to hair dye or it could be due to the, you know, to the jet fuel that you you were, you know, exposed to. A wishy-washy person isn't going to make the level of detail needed to satisfy all the other requirements for the private DBQ to be sufficient. And that's the part that I left out of about the last video. But the last video was about 40 minutes long. So, I mean, like, you guys wouldn't have got there anyway. But anyway, so that's why, to me, the at least as likely as not, you should always shoot for 51%. If you want to shoot for 50-50, you want to say good luck, everyone, and you want to roll the dice, it's your claim. Okay? I just want to tell you that if it's sitting in front of me and I got 50% trying you're going to probably not get granted because they didn't take the time to be confident in their answer. So I would like to take this time uh, to talk to all of you and once again say thank you. Uh, I do not know where we're at. Let me. There's going to be clicking involved here. But it looks like we are at the time of this particular video that we are at 4,348 subscribers. And that is just amazing. I appreciate you guys more than you know. Um, I'd like to thank all the the members, you know, the people who are, you know, monthly members, VSRs and Raiders. Uh, you know, your support is always appreciated, always welcomed, but never required. And um, everyone else that has, you know, donated to the to the channel, I appreciate you guys. Um, so I'd like to thank you. We're trying to, you know, grow the channel to where we're not a small channel anymore. Maybe we'll be like a, uh, I want to get up to 10,000 subscribers. I know that's kind of a greedy goal, but I'd like to get up there just to be able to, um, you know, spread the word a little bit more because there are norms associated with this process that you know it might not be written somewhere but you know there there are best practices in order to do this to make sure that you you know it's a knockout punch whenever you're submitting your evidence for your claim that you know you get granted you hear you know you hear it a lot of the times where people are like wow i just submitted it and it didn't ping pong back and forth and it just went straight through that's my goal for you guys right is to teach you to front load your evidence to the point that it doesn't ping pong back and forth and the 50 percent degree of certainty right uh that's why i always laugh whenever i see that you know it is clear and unmistakable that that we have satisfied the requirements okay but you just kind of halfway did it you know you didn't even mention the veteran one time i don't know But that's about all I got for you this time, guys. I just want to do a follow-up video just to talk about the at least as likely as not um, future gripe that somebody is going to put forth to me. So I wanted to clarify it. So that's about all I got for you on this one. Uh, We'll talk to you guys later. And the dogs say goodnight. Uh, So have a wonderful one.